updates that we are tracking as far as uh, the Jan Sena chief is also concerned because he now being also a key alliance partner uh, within the NDA, he's now also leaving for Delhi. We had an exclusive word with him and he has assured that his party and also the TDP are uh, standing firmly with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and they will continue to be a part of the NDA. Now seen as a kingmaker, there's also India Alliance trying to bring back their former allies. Is that a call you got or you know, they're saying that you know Pawan is also very crucial now as far as the forming of the government is concerned? Uh, see, we see from my personal uh, loyalty and commitment is to Modi. There's no second thought about it. See, it, I don't like to hop. Now seen as a kingmaker, there's also India Alliance trying to bring back their former allies. Is that a call you got or you know, they're saying that? Pawan is also very crucial now as far as the forming of the government is concerned. Uh, see, we, see, from my personal uh, loyalty and commitment is to Modi. There is no second thought about it. See, it, I don't like to hop. Well, we have Imran joining us live right now. Imran, good morning. You had a word as far as, uh, you know, when it comes to the role that Jan Sena will also be playing both when it comes to regional politics within Andhra Pradesh and also on a national front. The assurance is something that is of key importance. The parties there which are now playing the role, rather if we can call it of kingmakers, are the TDP and also when it comes to the JDO. His assurance is something that would be of good and grave importance to the BJP. <laughs> Well, absolutely. In fact, the PM and the Amisha both called the Naidu here. Uh, we are the camp office where where he, this meeting happened. Uh, this call happened between PM and Amisha and Chandrababu Naidu. While the TDP strictly maintains that they are with BJP and uh, they are with NDA and they want to see PM as a third time prime minister, they also deny any calls being received from the India Alliance or uh, any uh, any such proposal on their part. However, Naidu is in the last uh, press conference just a couple of uh, minutes before he had he left a very cryptic message saying that uh, once he come, meets NDA, there was no commitment to the statement that uh, they are with NDA, but he said that once after when the NDA meeting is over, he will uh, later reveal what his uh, plans are. So either it could be about the, the formation of the coalition here or it could be larger uh, politics of what we're seeing have going on in Delhi between India Alliance and NDA trying to bring back some of the former allies, trying to strengthen the allies already they have to ensure that they form the government and uh, that the visual from, uh, from Bihar for Bihar Nitish and also, uh, you know, the RGD chief going together also is quite curious at, at the moment uh, and also led to a lot of speculations and rumors in the political circles. Mm -hmm. But at the South is concerned, this, you know, it, and Naidu is a big alliance partner now and he's very crucial as BGP has fall short of numbers. What will happen is all eyes in Delhi right now as Naidu has not given a very straightforward answer that they are, he is with NDA and he, he wants to be see Prime Minister Narendra Modi as third term PM like his uh, colleagues have been making that statement earlier. So we have to wait and see what political developments happen and what uh, Naidu sticks to NDA or uh, there's another game plan, plan B of Naidu at the moment. All right. Uh, we are talking about as far as the role now when it comes to the regional parties uh, that uh, has to, uh, been playing here as far as the when it comes to the formation of Modi Sarkar 3.0.